Hey y'all, what is up, and welcome back to my channel for another part of The Sims 2 Pleasant View. Okay, so last time we was with the Dreamer family, little Damon aged up into a toddler and stole my heart. He was so freaking cute. What even? How is a toddler that cute? It's like his smile was like capturing my heart it was melting me like seriously he's so cute uh and it really gave cassandra baby fever and we ended the part trying for a baby but i don't think we were successful because in the sims 2 when you conceive i guess that's the right term <laughs> uh you hear the do 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 and i didn't hear that so i don't think it worked but uh, I don't know. I, I still want her to have a baby, but then when I came into this this household, I noticed that she's only 15 days from becoming an elder, and we know that Darren's like six days from becoming an elder, and I don't want them to be like super old parents, but I want them to have another baby so bad. I'm not done having babies, uh, so I think what I'm going to do is I have them try again. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to wake him up. Yeah, Cassandra. That's what we're going to do. You're going to relax. You're going to seduce him in your little black undies you got going on right there. Um, and we're going to try again. Right, so we're going to try for a baby again. Oh, we all know what that means. <laughs> so I think she's pregnant. So I'm hoping we'll have a baby belly before this part's over with because that'll be really cute. Um, and I'm hoping, freaking fingers crossed, it's a girl. I want her to have a girl so bad. I just think Cassandra needs a little mini me. I really, really do. Okay, but anyways, you can wake up now because you're not even sleepy. Uh, I think our cat, what was her name again? Oh yeah, Allegra. I think she really is in desperate need for some attention. So oh, we need to cuddle with her a little bit. I mean, we probably shouldn't want another child if we can't even take care of a cat, you know, but, you, you know, pets require attention, too. I forget sometimes. <laughs> okay, and little Damon, he's over here. He, oh, he's super tired, but I want, um, after she gets done stroking her kitty. Dear God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm gonna have her come over here. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> <laughs> and the uh, empty <laughs> god i'm a pervert <laughs> and empty his little potty here and i want him to learn how to be potty trained or be potty trained so we need to make sure we do that and also shout out to everybody who gives me you know tips and tricks and teaches me how to play the sims 2 uh, when we aged damon up he had on a tuxedo which don't get me wrong was really cute but it was kind of weird i mean too fancy for everyday attire and i did not know how to change him and somebody told me that i could change him by this little thing, the changing table, which I forgot this thing was even functional. I thought it was for like decorations, uh, but yeah, you can change their diapers and change their outfits. So yeah, thank you for helping me because I had just clueless to even like click on it. I mean, what even, but oh, is he not having it? No, he just wants to go to sleep. Okay, well, I know you want to go to sleep. Oh, okay, you know what? I don't even care. Put him in the put him in the crib. He's he's just gonna have to pee on himself, and we're gonna have to work on you know his little potty skills tomorrow because oh, he's not in the mood, and neither am I. But anyways, um, I'm gonna have her come down here and clean this up, and I think we need to serve some more breakfast. So I think we're gonna serve some pancakes this morning. And it is Sunday, so Cassandra does not have to work. I feel like every time we come into the Dreamer household, we don't get to spend a lot of time with Cassandra because she's always working. Um, but I do want to play with her a little bit today. I want to have her, you know, spend some time with Damon. I want Dirk, or not Dirk, oh my gosh, why do I get all my Sims mixed up? Darren to teach him how to talk and walk so we can make sure he's a smart little toddler as he ages up. 
then I want her to like clean up around the house and work on some of her skills that she needs for a promotion. So right now she is a science teacher um, and she needs to work on her logic and her cleaning. So we're going to clean up around the house and hopefully that will boost us up what we need to get that skill. If not, whatever, we'll study it. It is what it is. I'm letting Darren catch up on his sleep because he was up in the wee hours of the morning taking care of little Damon. So Darren's up. I'm going to have him pop tea and take a shower and then go downstairs and eat some of the pancakes that Cassandra has whipped up. We need to get her out of her undies unless we want to try for twins. I mean, girl, you can't just be walking around like that. <sighs> okay, let's clean up, honey. Um, I don't know, I feel like I probably do need to go shopping for her and buy her some, like, appropriate pajamas. Because I just feel like once you start having kids, or at least once your kids age up into children, uh, just, for me, I would I would not prance around in my underwear. Oh, she's feeling sick. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, that's official. She's definitely expecting, which makes me super happy. Um, we're gonna put a, well, no, 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 don't put them away yet because you, oh, yes we can because we have some on the table. Um, I wish they did that in The Sims 4. Set the table and put the food out, you know. Sometimes it goes to waste, but it's not a big deal. But anyways, oh yeah, we do need to call Mary Sue. I know Mary Sue has been obsessed with us and calling us like, did you forget about me? And uh, honestly, we did. I I've skipped over them in case y'all haven't noticed. I have not visited Daniel and Mary Sue ever since I took them on their romantic little vacation getaway. And that is because I am trying to wrap up my Pleasant View LP so we can start Strange Town. I've already started pre-recording Strange Town, so be expecting that to probably overlap with this LP once we wrap up, but like I was saying, I'm trying to wrap it up, and I do have like these goals for each family that I want to end the season with, and one of my goals for Mary Sue and Daniel was to have them, you know, mend their relationship, and they did, it, you know, it was pretty much all they had going for them, they're old, they're about to retire, it's just not fun to go into their household, you feel me? So, um, yeah, <laughs> we did forget about her, but we are going to call her um, and check in on her and see how she's doing. And I think, yeah, Darren is making sure Damon, oh no, he's about to potty on himself, but oh my gosh, so annoying. Okay, you, before, please do it before he freaking potties on himself. I wish you didn't have to clean this thing out. Please don't use the restroom. Please don't, please don't, please don't. Hold it, hold it, hold it. All right, let's go potty train him real quick. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Uh, okay, I think we made it. Okay, I think, yeah, I think we did. All right, so let's come in here and make the bed. We're just trying to make sure the house is all clean, do our wifey and motherly duties. And like I said, we're gonna come down. Oh, Somebody's calling us. I can't hear the phone ringing for some reason. I, oh, I can hear it now. <laughs> okay. It must have just started. Maybe, I bet you, how much you want to bet it's Mary Sue? Oh, no. Um, I'm assuming that's somebody for a magazine, so I'm going to say no. I think that's the same dude with dread that always calls my Sims, asking if we want such and such, which we never do. She's hungry again. Oh, it's because she's pregnant. Her needs are going to start going down more than usual, which sucks. Um, oh, I want to change him back. Okay. Uh, okay. 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 Sorry. <laughs> I'm all over the place. All right, Darren, I want you to eat, and then we're going to make sure we have Damon fed. I want to show y'all his new little outfit that he's going to be wearing, which is just a little sweater and scarf. Uh, I didn't go shopping for him. It was, I guess, his outerwear set. I'm just going to set it as his everyday wear since it is <gasps> the first day of winter. So you know what that means. We've got to get a Christmas tree. Y'all, I am so, so in the freaking Christmas spirit, in case y'all haven't noticed, um, which I'm usually not. What is this? Whoa. Uh, I'm quite impressed with myself. Or shocked, not impressed. I'm shocked with myself. Ooh, that looks really pretty there. <gasps> oh, yeah. You can see it. Oh, I love it. Okay, perfect. Um, what other swatches do we have? Oh, we just have white. I like the green. All right, we're gonna go with that for now. That's all I'm gonna do, but anyways, like I'm trying to say. <laughs> okay, get it together. Um, <laughs> I'm usually not the type that hops on the Christmas train so early. Honestly, 
it gets on my nerves to see other people do it. But the reason why my channel is already ready for Christmas is because I got bored one day and was like, let's go ahead and make my intro for Christmas time. And I fell in love with it. And I decided just to, you know, go, go big or go home. So we're decking the halls out on my channel for Christmas. Uh, that still doesn't mean in real life I'm a fan of Christmas before Thanksgiving. Uh, and honestly... I, I enjoy Christmas. It's my favorite holiday, but there's something about Christmas music. I know, don't come at me, but to hear Christmas, I know my intro has Christmas music. I'm contradicting myself. I'm a walking contradiction. Um, I just don't like, okay, for example, my best friend is already, every time I get in her freaking car, which is every single day, she's listening to Christmas music, and it's just too much. It's too much. <laughs> uh, so, I am that person now. I'm, I'm judging her, but look at my channel. <laughs> you know. So, anyways, I'm excited that all of my Sims was getting time for Christmas, so... Uh, yeah. We've got to make sure we're all ready for that, but anyways. That's besides the point. We're gonna clean up, and we need to feed Damon. I want to go put him... Um, well, yeah. Oh, gosh. Cassandra's... Uh, Ugh, when they're pregnant, their freaking knees go down, and it pisses me off. It's already too hard to keep up with it as it is. Um, let's dress him in his everyday wear, and then let's... Ha oh, look, it's Mary Sue. I told y'all she's obsessed with us. How are things going, Cassandra? <laughs> Hello. I haven't seen you around much and just wanted to say hi, so hi. Oh, you're so creepy. <laughs> Maybe we should hang out sometime later this week or something. Okay, Mary Sue, are you reading my mind? Did you know I was going to call you? I mean, I should have known you was going to call me first. All right, so anyways, um, I wanted to spend some freaking time with her. There she, oh, I thought she was about to go vomit. <laughs> I wanted to her to, like, work on her skills and stuff, but she is sleepy. All righty, so I guess I'm going to have her come up here and sleep. And she low-key knows that she's pregnant, you know. Uh, she's only felt this sick once in her life and it was when she was pregnant with Damon and you know they are trying for another baby so it's the only logical explanation is that she is expecting and she's not going to say anything to Darren yet because she you know anything can happen she just wants that confirmation that positive pregnancy test so that's what we're waiting on um, for her to get the little baby bump and then we can go and announce it to Darren I think I'm gonna have Darren invite um Oh my gosh. Yeah, we... Has Dirk even met Damon? I don't think he has. Did he meet him? Oh, maybe when he was an itty bitty baby. I don't even remember, y'all. Uh, but I want to invite Dirk over. Uh, invite him over. Yeah, because I want him to see his little baby brother. And I just got very sentimental in the last part with the brokes when Dustin came home to visit. Uh, it just makes me want all of my sins to come visit. Which reminds me, I think I am going to hop back into Daniel and Mary Sue soon. Uh, so I can have the girls come visit. And hopefully they can have a sit down, come to Jesus meeting. And, um, you know, come to terms that the girls need to love each other and put the past in the past. Oh, so I just had Damon come over and ask his big brother for some attention. Oh, he's just going to, like, toss him up in the air. Oh, goodness. That's good birth control, isn't isn't it, Dirk? I can see Darren like, uh-huh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I know you're having those wild, crazy nights in college, but I tell you right now, son, you better wrap your... Don't be silly and wrap your willy or you're going to have puking babies all over the place. He's like, Dad. Seriously, please stop. Ew, ew, ew. <laughs> oh, goodness. Uh, but I do want uh, him to come over here and, you know, just chat with him, asking, you know, how's school going? Uh, how are you and Lilith? And he's like, yeah, school's going great. You know, my grades are awesome. I'm super excited to finish my freshman year. Um, he's like, yeah, how are you and Cassandra? He's like, oh, actually, Cassandra wasn't feeling too well, so she's actually upstairs sleeping, but uh, I think I hear her getting up. I think Cassandra needs to come down here and say hey to Dirk while he's home. What is going on with this baby? He is having a conniption. All right, so I want to have her, I guess, come over here and empty this. So annoying that I keep having to empty that, but um, yeah, let's empty that and then potty train him and then go down there and check on Dirk and... Know, let's see how he's doing. 
just casually serving spaghetti up at midnight. <laughs> oh. Anyways, I'm glad that Dirk was able to come and visit the family. And um, I think Cassandra's going to go ahead and tell him, look, I think I'm pregnant. I haven't told your dad yet, but... Yeah, how do you feel about that? And he's like, what? I mean, serious? I'm excited to have another little brother or sister. I want a girl. And she's like, me too. No kidding. You know, you boys are great, but you know, I want I want a little girl. But, you know, if it's a boy, I'll be happy nonetheless. He's like, well, you know, when you find out for sure, you got to call me and let me know. And she's like, of course. <laughs> I mean, it's not something you could miss, you know? <laughs> Anyways, I'm glad that these two are starting to get close. And you know what else I just realized is that Cassandra has not talked about Alexander in a hot minute. She kind of just jumped ship, got married, and forgot all about him, and he's living there with freaking Dina. She hasn't even met her little brother. Oh my god, we're gonna have to do that. We're going to have to, next time we go to the Goth household, somebody remind me. I need to write this down. Shoot. Uh, we need to invite over Cassandra. She hasn't even met Spencer. She has not spoken to her brother. Ugh. Is anybody here a hollering baby? I do. <laughs> Ah, he's like, hello, I'm awake. I'm right awake at 1 o'clock in the morning. I am wide awake, y'all. <sighs> so true. Um, It's been a hot minute since I've been around toddlers. My mom and dad, what the hell? What are you doing over here? Be greeted. Who is this chick and why is she just freaking hopping up in my house? Um, I'm freaked out. Uh, okay, bye. <laughs> what? I, something, I know something popped up. I just didn't read it. Oh, my God. That's weird. I mean, you should knock. You should not just freaking barge up in somebody's house. But anyways, what I was trying to say is that my parents just got custody of a three-year-old and an eight-month-old. And I know the struggle of the babies being wide awake at one o'clock in the morning now. I, I know the struggle. I don't have my own kids yet, but I do understand the struggle. But anyways, I'm going to have Cassandra ignore him, come up here and take a shower and everything, and then go to bed. And, uh, oh my gosh, everybody's so sleepy, but of course, he's wide awake, I guess. Jesus. Okay, we're going to... Okay, I, I mean, are you going to stay all night? We need, you need to go. I know you're my son, and I love you, but... We got a baby that was screaming, and it's just kind of stressing me out, and you're taking up space, so... Get back to school. Love you. See you later. Wow. Okay. Oh, let's put Damon in chair and feed him. Jesus. Okay. He's super tired, but we're going to at least try to get him fed. Um, and then we'll just let him down and let him play until one of us wakes up again. <laughs> I mean, if only you could do that in real life. You know, just put the kid down on the ground and let him play until you wake up. Okay, he's like putting him in the chair and he's like, peace. Okay, no, you're gonna clean up the bowl <laughs> and feed him. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> Allegra is on fire. The house is on fire. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> stay calm, stay calm. Get up, get up. Holy freaking crap. Oh my god. Oh dear god. This is this could is can the cats die? Can cats die? Is my cat gonna die? Fire. Oh dear god. Oh my god. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, call um emergency. Who oh, can we make it without getting on fire? Y'all, if if somebody dies, where's my cat? Is my cat on fire? My cat's dying. My cat is dying. Holy hell. Oh my god. Oh my god. Freaking A, dude. Freaking A. I know. Okay, Jesus. No, God. 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 <laughs> I don't know what to do. Okay, he's freaking out. I'm trying to get him to the freaking phone so we can call for emergency services, but I'm. God. Fear. Oh, Allegra, I, can can she die? I can, oh. oh my god, I don't know what to do, y'all, I don't know what to do, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, oh my god, 
wow he he won't stop freaking out over the fire you need to come over here and oh my god um god emergency please no he's not gonna do it because oh my god i don't know what to do our whole house is catching on fire if i try to get him to extinguish it i know he's going to freaking die i know he is i don't know what to do y'all i don't know this could be the freaking end <gasps> oh god oh god get right all up into it why don't you i did not know turning the freaking lights on was going to catch my house on fire had no idea <gasps> oh god this is turning so bad oh no 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 i don't want him to die <gasps> Oh my god. I'm not ready for him to die. I'm not. Nobody's even here to freaking help him. The free <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> Y'all, I don't even I don't even know what to do. I don't even know what to do. How do I I, I, Cassandra, can can she come home from work early? I, I'm scared for her to come home from work early because essentially she's probably just going to catch on fire too, and everybody's about to die. I don't I don't know I don't know what to do. Y'all help me help me somebody help me right now because he's going to die. I know he's going to die. There's there's no there's no way to get him out of this. Oh my god, if I could just get him to stop freaking out and come over here to the phone. Y'all, this is a for real emergency. You want to be saved from death? I would like you to be saved from death too. Oh dear god, I don't want you. He's dying. He is dying. He's dying. He's dying. He's going to die. We're about to freaking lose Darren Dreamer. I'm about to cry. I am literally, I've killed my sim. I... I'm an idiot. I cannot believe I freaking did that. Go, freaking. Oh, dear God. Oh, my God. I don't know what to do. Okay, so Allegra can apparently cheat death, but we can't. Okay, okay. Are we not on fire anymore? Okay, it looks like everything's running. Everything's running out of, um. They're, they're, we're running out of stuff to catch on fire, so I think everything's dying off. Oh, God. Okay, well, we caught on fire again. Jesus Christ. All right, you guys. I'm just going to leave y'all on a cliffhanger here because I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. We got a baby up here right, uh, waking up. His daddy's down here freaking dying. He's he's dying. Um, we might not have a Darren Dreamer when, when y'all get back, okay? Next part, we, we might be celebrating the... Or, mourning his law his loss i don't know y'all i'm i'm really freaking out right now i've killed my sim i have killed my sim this was not what i was expecting i wanted this series to wrap up peacefully but this is depressing um i'm gonna go now i'm really sorry don't hate me this was not my fault um <laughs> okay um like this i guess probably not um but don't dislike it but i'm sorry i'm sorry <laughs> I'll see y'all next time. Bye. Oh my god. You say that you don't need me. You say let's take things slowly. I hope you realize you're playing with fire. I know what heartbreak feels like.